We know that when a person says Birkat Amazon, all the Sha'arim open. The gates to the heavens open up to you. We've spoken in the past about why is it that when we say Birkat Amazon, at the end of it we say Harahaman hu yishtabah al kisei kavodah, Harahaman hu etc. etc. and he will bless us with Parnasah, he will bless us with Rifuah Shlema, he will bless us, he will bless us, Hashem will give us all these Harahamans in the Birkat Amazon we've spoken about in the past. And the answer is because now that you've done such a grand mitzvah, now that the Shekhinah, so to speak, descended upon your table, you can ask whatever you want. You can ask Hashem what you want. There's a story that I'm reminded of. This is going back years. A certain Rosh Yeshiva walks inside his yeshiva and he sees an old, older man. He walks inside the yeshiva. He washes his hands. He eats. He says, Amot Selechem in Aretz and he eats a sandwich. At the end of his meal, this man starts saying Birkat Amazon, very slowly, concentrated, focusing in his sidur. The rabbi was shocked. He was like, wow, look at this fervor and concentration in this Birkat Amazon. He was amazed with this man. The next day, the same man comes inside the yeshiva. He walks into the cafeteria again. He washes his hands. He pulls out his sandwich. Says, Amot Selechem in Aretz. And he eats and says Birkat Amazon. Again, another 10 minute Birkat Amazon. The rabbi was shocked, the Rosh Yeshiva. How could it be? 10 minutes, Birkat Amazon. Wow. What's the secret? He walks over to this man and says, What is your secret? Can I know? You say it so beautifully. What's behind your Birkat Amazon? He says, My Birkat Amazon means a lot to me. You know why? Because when I was a child growing up in Europe, Rabbi Israel Salant came to our city, to our locale, and he said, Whoever says Birkat Amazon with Kavana, guaranteed he's never going to need to beg people for Parnasa. He's never going to need to beg people for food. He's going to have his piece of bread. He's going to have his sustenance. He says, the rabbi's words were so inspiring that I took upon myself from then on to say Birkat Amazon with concentration. Surely enough, the world war broke out. When the world war broke out, he says there was hunger, there was no food. People were starving. Magically, they put me inside to work as a chef in the kitchen. And I had as much food as I needed. And two years into the war... When the Nazis looked at me, they said, how come you're not skinny like everyone else? And he didn't have an answer for them. They said, you know what? They took him outside, and they said, you have two hours to dig a hole, two meters by two meters. This is what you have to dig. And he knew that this is going to be the hole that they're going to bury him in. But they said, if you don't dig it within two hours, this is going to be the end of your life. The man has no choice, he starts to dig. And he remembers that he was promised a blessing with this Birkat Amazon. And check out what happens. A bunch of soldiers walk by this man and they say to him, What are you doing? He says, I'm digging a hole. So they laughed at him, silly old Jew. And they start throwing their leftover food at the guy. They start throwing it at him and making fun of him. They mocked him. This man, he continued to dig. All of a sudden, a few hungry people walked by and they noticed, they said, You have food. Can we get the food? He said, I would love to give you some food, but I need your help. We have two hours to dig a hole of two meters by two meters. If you guys will help me, I'll give you the little crumbs that I got. Surely enough, ten guys get together and they start digging this hole. Two hours they didn't need to pass, they dug the hole. When the Nazis came back and saw that the hole was dug, they didn't understand. They couldn't believe their eyes. How is it possible that you dug this hole? And they realized, ah, this is an intelligent Jew. We need him, we'll keep him around. Why? He's got management skills and they kept him around. But what saved his life? The Birkat Amazon, he used to say, provided him with sustenance at that moment that he needed and he was able to use these few crumbs to bring people to help him and save his life. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.